Okay, we're back. We had to readjust for better picture value. Okay, so imagine these are stuck into the ground, and then what I call it is the Chinese scaffold. We're going to build this thing up like this, and then if there's a branch that's going to lay on here, a branch will lay on here, we can tilt this if the branch isn't high enough yet. We'll lay it out on here, and that branch will tilt off this way. If I live a little longer, it would serve more purpose to be out there. So outdoors, I usually use the small sticks as just the size of the basic diameter of the bush. And the tall ones, I go the same thing. At the, the height of the plant is how tall I need a bamboo for. And then I'll build that all the way up as I need. Okay, now it's very important. I think we've already talked about it earlier in the year. But if you haven't been lollipopping your cannabis plant, now's the time. Because those plant, their branches rather, that if they're hitting the ground, they're just another super highway for an insect travel to the top. So you want to get rid of all that. You want to get rid of all that transportation value. Make it so they have to find the way up to the golden land. Not too many paths. That's the idea. You got too many paths to the golden land? You have everybody in your golden land. <laughs> Keep them out of your garden the right ways. So, prevention. So, you're going to lollipop your plant, clean it up, you're going to spray it every three days. Um, neem oil is about, this is about the time of year where I recommend canceling the neem oil because it leaves a little flavor on your butt which buds, depending on your garden and the, your variety, what you're growing, um, they're starting to bud right now. <clears throat> so you, I don't want any neem oil on mine. You probably wouldn't either, right? I'm imagining most people don't. So anyway, so this works really well. This also works um, if you have a plant in the springtime. I, I used to live up on a 50 acre ranch and the rabbits and the squirrels were horrendous. Now what I did for them, this kept every plant alive until it got big enough, and then they were able to leave it alone. Once I could lollipop it, it was too tall now for them to grab any vegetation. They don't stretch up for this. Now you're at the point where the deer come along. So now you gotta be in something high enough to prevent the deer. Okay, so this all came to me Seasonally is a learning experience. So what I ended up doing was I found out that a rabbit could only get through about a two inch So I put them about an inch apart All the way around my plant. I had I guess like a hundred of these around every plant But you know what those plants lived and it was lovely harvest Okay, <laughs> and then they got bigger and I, the plant got wider. I pulled those out those sticks then became cross members when I had deer now coming at me. Now the plant's taller, so I don't need, and I only popped it, and the rabbits can't get it anymore, remember? So now I'm dealing with the deer, and they're eating the plant right up to the stem. They can't really chew the stem, like, because the way they eat, they spin every branch off. Enough to piss you off really bad. Anyway, so what I did was, I started making a barricade with the bigger poles around and it kept the deer away. Uh, so talking about deer, then I learned a couple things about deer. They don't like to know that people are around. So when you're out in your garden, feel free if you got to pee. Pee right there, right next to your favorite tree. Pee right there next to it. And don't spread it around. That will go away too quickly. Make a nice puddle. <laughs> make one nice puddle. They'll, they'll stick around better, they'll smell it, and we'll smell more for days that way. All right, uh, that's some good rich knowledge right there. That's good shit.